Right, I'm Michael Charlton, a hepatologist at Intermountain Healthcare and at the University of Chicago, and I'm here with Professor Mary Ranella, who's a hepatologist at Northwestern University uh, in Chicago and, a, and an important investigator on many NASH studies. So Mary's also one of our faculty here at NASH TAG 2018. So Mary, NASH is a, is a histological disease defined by, by liver biopsies. Your presentation today talked about some of the, the non-biopsy ways to determine severity of NASH, response of NASH to therapies. How do you feel that, that aspect of the field is, is going? Do you feel like we're moving away from biopsies? Do we have uh, new technologies that can help us to avoid it for, for our patients? So I think that we're not uh, able to move away from biopsy yet. However, we're uh, developing a little bit more uh, understanding of potential biomarkers, specifically in the, on the imaging uh, side, that can help us uh, better define who is at risk for advanced disease, who already has advanced disease. And if you were a, a patient or you're a physician with a patient who you're suspicious of fatty liver disease, maybe an ultrasound showing some fat, maybe transaminases are a little bit elevated, what would you suggest to that patient as a pathway forward? Who do you biopsy, who do you not biopsy, and how do you decide? So um, my decision to biopsy is based on uh, the use of clinical prediction rules, uh, which you can either use concretely with some of the algorithms that have been put forth, such as NAFL fibrosis score or FIB4, um, or you can, uh, understanding the clinical risk factors, you then would select uh, those patients for perhaps non-invasive imaging, such as fiber scan uh, or MRE, and then select out people who have increased liver stiffness for liver biopsy, and that gives you a much higher yield uh, of patients with NASH and fibrosis. And one last question. What do you think is the most important or the most two important endpoints for treating fatty liver disease from the perspective of the clinical trial and from a patient's well-being? What would you say are the top one or two? So ultimately, if you want to improve patient outcomes, you do want to reduce fibrosis, but I am a very strong believer that uh, treating the underlying disease or the steatohepatitis is absolutely critical. So uh, in my opinion, a drug that uh, it decreases steatohepatitis and thereby decreases our fibrosis would be the optimal approach. Of course, a combination therapy which improves steatohepatitis and then additionally has uh, targets that specific or that specifically target fibrosis would be excellent, but uh, steatohepatitis is critical to improve. Very good. So exciting developments, rapidly changing field. Mm -hmm. You can learn about it all here at NASHTAG 2018. All right. Well, thank you, Mary. Thank you.